were all pretty surprised that it really became a sort of international phenomenon. Yeah. Did you yeah, get... We were quite lucky, I think, about that whole thing with <coughs> Quentin in the film. It was like, you know, it happens once in a lifetime like that, you know? But uh, the way he uses it in the film, we thought that was great. And uh, that the song did so well as a single all over the world was really, like, surprising and cool, too. You know, and it like, I don't know, it sort of broke the band a little bit. Yeah, now everyone in Spain knows the words to that. That I don't think, not, they don't necessarily speak English, but they, they sing along. They certainly do. We were getting a pint today in the pub where we're staying, and uh, the, the, the bartender said uh, he'd only heard our version, he'd never heard Neil Diamond's. And I was like, wow. <laughs> the, guy from the, the guy at the pub has heard that song. But he's only heard ours, not Neil's. <laughs> do, do, you, do you ever get tired? Do you ever get tired of, of being known for that? I, could, I mean, that only that, that that only happened. I mean, that happened after we were done touring and everything. It was sort of like we were making, we were writing and making an album, and we weren't doing anything. And then that came up at the perfect time. We kept the band out there, kept us in the mix, and it was like the perfect thing to happen timing-wise for us. So it's like, it hasn't been a long enough thing, and we haven't put out anything since that record. So it's too early for us to say whether we don't, don't like it or not, but in general, we have no problems with selling records. Do you see those two freaks out there? Can you get a shot of them? They're, they're in the band now. <laughs> that, the guy in the black, Fever, Dean's got Fever, Las Vegas. He plays a bass, and that's our percussionist, Paco. Paco is actually our DJ now. He's, he did he, See, I, I knew from this, Madrid. the whole trip-hop English thing would work into your act. I knew it yeah, would, because it's, it's made for day. you guys. No, we're beco we, are, we are becoming like an international, an international act like from within. Not, not only that, but we threw an all-night party with our pals Oasis last night. And how was that? Well, we didn't get In much... In a word? <laughs> we didn't get much sleep. Yeah. So what we've heard about Oasis and their, their ability to really party is all true. Yeah, and then, I mean, and they're, they're them fighting boys, too. They, there were scraps last night? Yeah. Oasis had it out with, uh, with somebody. Some, well, some I think they were sucker. brawling amongst themselves a little bit. <laughs> Actually, right. that's, yeah. <laughs> they took some poor sucker out.
I noticed that you've uh, really changed your look entirely for, for England. Well, I mean, we always change our look, period. I mean, it's, it's like... for anybody. It's like there's so many people, like, <laughs> taking our ideas now and wearing suits. Well, that's what I meant, really. It, it, it doesn't and seem that you guys... Sort of stealing our ideas about yeah. videos and using cop shows and stuff. And it's like there's so many people biting out of Urge right now. Now more than ever, it's like, you know, Urge says, hey, bite me. It's... <laughs> we're, we're, we're a little Speaking bit more of, like street gangs and, and hoods in Chicago. I mean, we align ourselves with the criminal element, and this is the way the criminal element in Chicago dresses. Yeah, st stylistically, I think as a band, we've gone, we've gone through our sort of Meet the Beatles period, and it's kind of, it's kind of moving into a Let It Be thing, you know. It's like three individual personalities now. We, <laughs> it's a lot. We, you know, we only see each other at shows or doing albums, of course. <laughs> yeah, obviously, yeah. Three men. Enter the dragon. One man exits. You guys want the scoop of all scoops? Absolutely. I, I heard that tomorrow night Led Zeppelin is playing with John Paul Jones on bass. Do you know what? Put that in your hookahs. 